my name's Alicia and today I'm going to be showing you how to do this lovely vampy lip and smoky sort of pink eyeshadow bronzy. So if you want to continue and see how to do it, keep on watching. Alright, so first I'm going to start by using my Napoleon Auto Primer just to prep my skin. This just helps conceal any large pores, bumps, just makes the foundation a lot smoother. I'm just going to, be going to apply that with my MAC 190 brush. Alright, so once that's all rubbed in, I'm going to take my NARS Light number 4 and my, my NARS Medium number 4. So the reason I have two is because I find depending on how dark my tan is, the colour different is quite different. So I'd rather just mix them. Alright, so I usually put most of my product in the middle of my face and then spread it out. So that avoids getting any of those terrible foundation lines because you want it to all blend in. Once that's all buffed in, I'm going to take my Napoleon Little Trio set, it's called the Pro Palette Conceal, and I'm going to take just this dark shade and this like quite yellow one and mix those together just to create a perfect match for underneath my eyes. Alright, and then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Crease Brush. I'm going to dip it into this colour and it's bitten by MakeupGeek.com. We're just going to use that to just go along the crease. Alright, now you want to take the same brush and just dip it into Tornado or any sort of like-minded colour. So it's a nice purpley mushroom colour. And you want to just blend that on the outer V into that crease line. And take that right to the sticky tape again. Everything you want to do, you want to take right to the sticky tape because that's what's going to create the nice crisp line. take MAC Embark, which is a nice deep chocolate brown, and we're going to further go into the outer crease, except now we're going to bring it along your lash line. fluffy brush again and just sort of sweep that up along into all those other colors you've already blended into your crease. All right now I'm going to take my wasp number 12 brush just another little eyeshadow brush. I'm going to dip it into Smog by Urban Decay so just this nice sort of gold deep bronze color. And we're going to take that all across the lid. So all the way across. Just patting that on to get that extra pigment to lock it into place. I'm going to take it right to the corner and right along. So all all right, and now I'm going to take my Makeup Geek brush, just this little crease brush, and it is called a small crease brush. I'm going to take my Naked number 2 palette. I'm going to dip it into Busted, just a nice dark bronze towards the end. And we're just going to increase the depth in the crease by going over that again and blending it into the gold that we've just put in. <laughs> Now this one's going to need a little bit more blending, so you want to take your MAC blending brush again, or any blending brush you do have, and just softly, very lightly, 
blend that into the existing product. All right, and now you've done that, you want to take the nice bronzy color you put in your um, the lid of your eye, and you want to take that across the bottom, from about here to about you know, two thirds, maybe half of your eye. And I'm just using a nice little angled brush, and mine is wasp brush number four. <laughs> So now that you can see that, so I'm going to take Embark by MAC and we're going to blend that on the outer corner and then we're going to take that nice colour from the Naked 2 palette and it is busted and we're going to blend that all along so it all looks seamless. I'm going to use the angled brush again. And because you've got the sticky tape there, you don't have to worry too much about it. Alright, and that's the main bit to your eyeshadow done. So you want to take these lovely things off. And you can see it's very, very crisp. You can even see you've got a little bit of fallout. And it is crazy how much fallout you do get. So I'm just going to grab a big fluffy brush and just take that off. But I'm going to take my blending brush and I'm just going to blend that. So the line is still nice and crisp, but not as crisp. Alright, so next we want to do the liner. I don't want to do too much of a big liner because I want to keep that flowy look. So I'm going to use the NARS Black Valley eyeliner. And we're just going to take it with just a nice sort of flat angled brush. This is an old one I have by Bella Pierre. Not sure where it came from. <laughs> no wing just to the end and just stops just so it tapers out a little bit but not too much and you want to when you do it look up a bit and just get right underneath all right and then now that you've done both eyes with both eyeliner I'm going to take the Rimmel Wonderful um, mascara and just pop them on when I do mascara I do like to do thin coat and use a nice thin brush and no wacky wiggly lines and just bl I blink when I put it on but you just want to be careful you don't get it on the eyeshadow once you've done both eyes I let dry for about a minute or two in between and then do a second coat because you don't want to get clumpy lashes but you still want to make them nice and long so I find just waiting that minute or two just helps and that way you can still get luscious long lashes all right so I'm gonna take the NARS barley and I'm just gonna dab my brush into that and we're gonna do fill in the bottom first And then we're going to blend that shadow up. just to make it less sharp. Okay, so now that we powdered in and the brows and filled in any holes you may have, I'm going to take the Gimme Brown Benefit um, in medium deep and I'm just going to go in and brush that over my brows. Now I'm going to take Napoleon's Camera Finish Powder in Topaz, which is number N5, which is quite dark, but it honestly lasts so long because you barely need any. So I'm also going to use the Real Techniques blending and contouring brush. So when you contour, you want to keep in mind that you're going from about the top of your ear to the corner of your lip. 
Now, obviously, this is a generalization for most contouring, but you basically just want to sit right underneath your cheekbone because the idea of it is to lift it and define. Obviously, these are quite deep, but we're going to blend them afterwards. Just going underneath the lip makes it a bit fuller. And then you want to contour just along your nose and up to your brow, just on both sides. And this will create a narrower nose. And then you want to go along your hairline too. And then what I do is I actually do underneath the chin and just along the jawline. Now if you're a bit fuller just underneath here or you want to even be more chiseled, you would take that up onto your face a little bit more rather than underneath your neck. But I find it just defines your face and just creates that gap between your face and neck. So I'm now going to take my MAC 123 brush. So it's actually double sided. It was originally designed for powder and liquid. But I find because it is so narrow, I use the powder side just to blend my contour. So you don't want to be too heavy, you just want to do nice and light circular motions and just blend that down to your mouth. And generally you can feel where your cheekbone sits, so if you're underneath you can feel that bone. My favourite blush to use currently for vampy sort of looks is Max Harmony. So I'm just taking my MAC 100 brush, which is a nice sort of contour, just shapes nicely for blush. Just dip that in, and when I put that in, it's just going to sit just above the contour. I'm just going to do that in circular motions. <laughs> this nice sort of banana color by Napoleon I'm not sure what it's called but it's one of their sort of highlighting colors generalization you can use it for anything it's fabulous but you just want a nice light yellow sort of tone for my skin anyway I would go yellow if you're more beige you would have more of a pink sort of tone but you can use anything even coconut cream in the semi sweet chocolate palette bar will work but I just use this nice sort of fan brush by Waspers, so it's number 41 and I'll just dip that in there I'm just going to highlight along here just above where the, we put the blush hourglass palette so it comes a nice little palette there's an all over face powder a highlighter and a bronzer this highlight is oh my gosh it is amazing you cannot get a better highlighter and it looks amazing in photos so I'm actually gonna take number 27 wasp brush you can see it's angled I'm gonna dip that in and we'll put that along <laughs> Now I'm going to be taking Max lip pencil in mahogany. You can see it's a nice sort of dark plum. I'm going to line the lips. Now I'm going to take Sin um, a Mac lipstick, nice matte one. I'm going to put that over the top. Now I've just lined all the lips because they're pretty similar in colour. So I find if you line the entire lip, it the longevity is ridiculous. It's amazing. 